Yo, salute, 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 man. It's your boy, Stony Rock Store. Welcome to Prison Murders TV, man. And this your host, you already know, man. So salute, man. So today we gonna talk about a prison murder that took place in Clinton Denimore Correctional Facility. You feel me? It's a hot summer day. Dudes is outside cooking on the courts, doing what they do. You got dudes in the weight pen down on the bottom of the hill. You got dudes in the weight court at the top of the hill. You feel me? So dudes is doing what they do. You had this one dude that had mad gambling debts. You know what I'm saying? Like, it just was skyrocket like everybody wanted to get him cause he owed like half the jail money you feel me so it was just a matter of time you know what I'm saying it, it was a ticket time bomb that was bound to explode sooner or later and you had one dude that had natural life and he didn't give a fuck and he was about to take care of that motherfucking business man like fuck that shit you know what I'm saying about the pop son had to way the fuck off you know what I'm saying in his split take his last breath you know what I'm saying it's about to be a rap for old boy you feel me so dude up 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 the top of the hill working out you know what i'm saying and the dude that was spotting them on the side and one dude spotting them in the back you know what i'm saying so the dude that was spotting them on the side the dude that came and put in work put his back to him you know what i'm saying and spent off in front of him and took his place while the dude that was spotting him on the side spent to the back you know what i'm saying and gave him the leeway so when the way was already down, he pressed the shit down and stabbed him in his motherfucking mouth, right in his motherfucking mouth, when the nigga was trying to scream like, yo, and tried to push the weight off and push the weight down, you know what I'm saying, on his motherfucking chest, the nigga stabbed the nigga, you know what I'm saying, in the mouth and just kept stabbing him in the neck, stabbing him in the face, stabbing him all in his motherfucking chest, you know what I'm saying, Com repeatedly, you know what I'm saying, about a good five, six, seven times, you feel me, and just spin off and left the weight on the nigga and one weight, you know what I'm saying, from the bench press, 245 plates, you know what I'm saying, was like a seesaw, one was leaning to the side because most of the weight had felt that fell that way. So, you know what I'm saying, dudes had spent through, so the police came later and shit, and they just discovered the corpse, a bloody mess, you know what I'm saying, where well, son just, you know, he took his last breath, you know what I'm saying, so the moral of the story is, man, don't gamble, man, because gambling will get you in trouble, you want to, the moral of the story, if you got to do time, just, just to go and do your time and come home, not to go get caught up in some gambling debts and get murdered in prison, you know what I'm saying, and catch your last breath on the bench press while you're trying to get brolic, you know what I'm saying, so... This your boy Stony Rock Store, man. Just the conclusion for today's episode of Prison Murders. Know what I'm saying? TV. Feel me? Salute. Hey, how you doing? Yes, I'm great. Sure.